from season seven's casting already underway to a new generation of actors ready to steal the scene, here's everything we know about season seven of Downton Abbey. The reason Downton Abbey became such a big hit was because it showed British history in a really realistic way. The timing was spot on, showing the lives of fancy 20th century aristocrats the series followed the Crawley family's journey and how different events affected them. We got pulled back in time and couldn't help but love the sizzling drama. Since then, we've got two movies. Now, steady your teacups because I have some shocking news for you. After a long wait of eight years since the last season, Downton Abbey is making a grand comeback. The production company behind the loved series is currently in the process of casting for a brand new TV series. Carnival Films is desperate to make an even better show this time around. The possibility of more drama, scandals, and upstairs downstairs antics at Downton Abbey have got fans hyped. Except, can they nail the success of the original seasons? I mean, the show was so great. It holds the title of being the most nominated British show in Emmy Award history. During its peak in the third season, the series had an average weekly viewership of 11.5 million viewers. Not to mention, it has a 91 score on Metacritic. Interestingly, it got the Guinness World Record in 2011 for highest critical review rating for a TV show. The production team has some B big shoes to fill, no doubt. As for which stars will make a comeback, many of the original cast of Downton Abbey have long moved on. Phyllis Logan, for instance, has been cast in the upcoming eighth season of Shetland, Michelle Dockery is set to star in Stephen Knight's This Town, while Bonneville will take on a role in BBC's The Gold. During the release of Downton Abbey A New Era, Hugh shared that he suspected a third movie is unlikely. For him, Downton's world has been explored well enough. They ended the show on a high note, and that's what matters. But we're all not done with you yet, Lord Grantham. Not to mention even Penelope Wilton is eager for a third movie. Anyways, they're not the only people hoping another project is underway. Creator Julian Fellows has said he's open to the idea of more movies. Honestly, it boils down to how much demand there is from fans. At the same time, he's happy if a new era marks the end of the series. Now that we know a season is underway, it's time to think about what it's going to be all about. One thing's for sure, I'm ready to see the old cast back in action. We all know that the legendary Maggie Smith won't be coming back as Dowager. So we'll have to can rely on flashbacks for old time's sake. Now let's dish on the characters we can expect to see back in action. Elizabeth McGovern's Cora had a little health scare, but she got treated and has now recovered. So she's a strong contender for a return. And can't forget our leading lady, Michelle Dockery as Lady Mary Talbot would be an obvious choice to continue the family legacy. Talbot will be joined by her sister, Lady Edith, played by the fabulous Laura Carmichael, who's bound to bring her signature drama to the mix. But wait, what about the extended family? Samantha Bond as Lady Rosamund Painswick, Alan Leach as the charming Tom Branson, and Tuppence Middleton as Lucy Branson can definitely weasel their way into the show. And what about the staff and extras? One big maybe in the mix is Robert James Collier, who plays the complex Thomas Barrow. At the end of Downton Abbey A New Era, Dear Thomas accepts an offer from Dominic West's Guy Dexter to join him in America. That means we might not see Guy gracing our screens again either. And it doesn't stop there. The same situation goes for Hugh Dancy as Jack Barber, the movie's director, and Laura Haddock as the stunning Myrna Dalglish. Myrna, with a little help from Cora, adopts an American accent and sets her sights on Hollywood to conquer the world of talkies. So it seems like these characters might be taking their talents across the pond, leaving the Downton universe behind. But in terms of the plot, I bet Fellows has a few tricks up his sleeve. We might witness the Crawley family struggling with the challenges of modernization and the looming shadow of World War II. Now, I know what you're thinking, didn't we already see them dealing with the aftermath of World War I? Well, while the first war was a huge deal, the second conflict will hit much closer to home. The Crawleys might face the harm of losing their loved ones and maybe their estate will finally go down in flames 
flames as the war rages. Because what's a Downton Abbey show without a never-ending family drama? We'll likely get to see Mary and Henry struggling marriage taking center stage in season 7. But I hope they don't screw up some characters like they did in the previous seasons. Which brings me to John Bates. It's no secret that the poor man seemed to be a magnet for the worst storylines in the show. One might argue that his life is unrealistic, to say the least. I mean, his ex-wife purposefully sending him to jail? Incorrect murder accusations not once, but twice? It's like he had a never-ending supply of drama. Despite all the bizarre twists and turns, fans couldn't help but root for John and his beloved Anna to find their happily ever after. They had to go through seasons of weirdness and turmoil, but in the end, their journey was all the more satisfying when they finally found peace. Also, the crazy romances can go down a notch this time. Downton Abbey loves complicating things. I mean, keeping track of all those relationships among the staff became a real challenge. It felt like we needed a scorecard just to keep up. As the show went on, some of the romances did start to get stretched to the limits. It's no wonder that when certain actors like Ed Spielers left the show, the romantic storylines became a bit cleaner. It made it easier for the audience to follow along without getting lost. Either way, crazy or not, the show became an institution. It actually inspired a law in Britain. There was this bill called the Equality Bill, but it got the nicknames Downton Law and Downton Abbey Law because it was all about ending gender discriminations in hereditary titles. You know, like those fancy titles that get passed down in noble families? The bill wanted to make sure that girls could inherit those titles just like boys. So, why name it the Downton Law, you ask? Well, in Downton, the oldest daughter of the Earl couldn't inherit the family seat because it was reserved for a male heir. And so the bill was inspired by that storyline and aimed to fix the unfairness. Sadly, it was never passed, but the bill did force people to talk about the huge gap between the rich and the poor. Downton paints such a pretty picture of class division, it's all so charming and cozy. Upstairs, the royal never do anything horrible to their servants, and downstairs, the servants seem like happy-go-lucky guys. It's as if the harsh realities of their existence is completely bleached out and any rough edges of the upper class attitudes and behaviors toward their staff are all cut out. It's a world where everyone is nice and everything is amazing, but it's a far cry from reality. If Downton Abbey showed the real story, we would have the Earl of Grantham and his family as the villains, and the servants as their victims. It would be a whole different tale, and not one Julian would ever write. It's about time we step away from these false tropes. Come to think of it, this new season opens up the door to a lot of good changes. If you'll recall a set photo from the sequel movie, Hugh shared a photo of him and all his fake grandchildren. Julian will likely center the story around the kids and hopefully use them to begin new stories about breaking the norm. Who knows, maybe the kid actors who played the Crawley children might make a comeback. Oliver and Zach Barker played the naughty Master George Crawley. Now they've grown into fine young men since their time on the show, and let's not forget Fifi Hart who stole our hearts as the spirited Lady Sybil Crawley, Ava and Karina Sams, the talented twin sisters who played the precious Miss Marigold, have also grown up. Time will tell how Julian spins a unique take on the new season. So there you have it folks, from a new generation of actors ready to steal the scene, to season 7's casting already underway, that's everything we know about season 7 of Downton Abbey.